Okay, the pick apart car. What is it, Steve? It's the pick apart car. The bright lipstick pink car. And it's kind of a local landmark when you're coming into Chilliwack off the highway. Because you always pass. You know when you're just coming into Chilliwack? Because it's a pick apart car. Now, pick apart used to be a auto wrecking yard. So this place was full of cars. You just come and get bits, that kind of stuff. Very sadly, this business has now ended. And there's a lot of talk in Chilliwack on what they can actually do with the bright pink pick apart car. I love that pick apart car. So I thought I'd bring my drone down here and film the pick apart car while it's still on its pick apart plinth. <laughs> it's all peas, isn't it? Yeah, because it's not going to be here for much. I don't know what they're going to do with it. There's talk of them putting it on a, um, a roundabout, uh, bringing it into the city, that kind of stuff. Some people have offered to restore it. Uh, but I think it's a little bit, it's been on that plinth for years and years and years. So in terms of a car to restore, it probably fall to pieces as soon as you lift it off of there. So first thing is, I'm just gonna hand you over to Frank, my friend, who's just gonna tell you a little bit of history about the car. And so over to you, Frank. Okay, here's my friend, Frank Talibur. Morning, Hi. Frank. How are you doing? Good. Early in the morning. Yeah, so you know a bit of the history of this car. I do, I do. Um, they put it up about 30 years ago. Uh, initially, the idea was to have something unique from the side, from the highway. Uh, when he saw this hot pink 74 to 76 duster, he uh, bought it. It was built, uh, painted that way for a grad party. And uh, one of his staff said, hey, you want something different, unique? That, put that on top of your sign. And he said, brilliant idea. Yeah. So you went down and shot a bit of video down there. I did. And I'm gonna play that and a bit of history of the car. As the sun sets on the iconic pick a park pink car that has been seen in Chilliwack along the Trans Canada Highway for, for nearly 30 years. Some people wonder the story. Um, the story goes like this. It was originally, the property for the pick a park area was originally bought by John Davy. 1990. He wanted to build something unique, something special. They could see from the highway, um, so he asked the city for the largest, highest sign that he could put up, which was that one there. While he was out looking for cars um, to fill his yard, which now you can see is empty because it's been all cleared out, he came across that hot pink 74 to 76 duster right there. Picked it up for a hundred bucks. Uh, some kids had painted it hot pink from, for a grad party. When he brought it to the yard, one of his staff says, you want something unique? Put that car on top of that sign. He's, the rest is history. He says, freaking great idea. Of course, city came along later and they wanted him to take it down because he's now over the height restrictions. He told him to stuff it. Um, over the years, he has uh, had painted, painted it several times. Uh, the secret is uh, Sheridan Williams hot pink household paint, not automotive quality. In fact, he says the inside of that car is in pretty rough shape. Um, the windows are out of it, so it's been suffering in the elements for the last 30 years. He even had headlights put into it um, to keep it visible from the highway at night. So, really, um, the only, the only question I really have is, how the hell do those headlights stay on for that long? I want to buy a couple of those for myself because you don't get those in my car. Thank you. Not to mention the damn trains that come through here all the time. Well, what I want to ask you is a question now I've seen yep. the video is, um, what they're gonna do with the car? Ah, good question. Um, the city is talking about wanting to move it to the new roundabout, which is at Lickman Road, which is just beside Pick Apart on the other side of the highway. Um, he's not sure if, if it's feasible because it's, the car's in pretty rough shape, actually. Yeah. He'd like to keep it on the property. So he could theoretically lift us off that plinth and it'd all fall to pieces. <laughs> Probably. Because <laughs> 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 if you look at the videos uh, close up, you'll see 
Yeah, it, it's uh, great at a distance and not pretty up close. Yeah, yeah, I can pick a bit of that up on the drum. Well, pick a bit of the pick apart car. Up on the drum, <laughs> it's all peas, isn't it? It's all peas. Yeah, but you can you pink, can pink see apart. it a little bit on the footage, especially around the wheel. It's all yeah. kind of crumbling, all crumbling yeah. away. So you know, I think I think the only thing that's what really holding it together is the hot pink paint. The hot pink paint <laughs> of the pick apart car. <laughs> <laughs> Too funny. Yeah. It's almost like it needs to be in a museum or something, though, doesn't it? it needs it's to... true. I think that'd be a better place to put it. Really. Yeah, if there's like a town museum or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because I think if you put it on a roundabout, it'll either just get vandalised or somebody More. will paint it blue. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of feats a whole I don't like the pink, I'm going to paint it blue. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pink pick apart car. Blue <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this video, yeah. or if you've enjoyed the video, and please, please, please subscribe to my channel. And so, like I said at the beginning, it's uh, well, like I've said, it's kind of growing now. This channel is getting quite exciting. So, yeah, please subscribe, and I'll stick more weird, wild, and wonderful videos on it. You get to see Steve and his element in my more element. ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> okay.